What's up guys, HPKFan25 here. Today will be the very first Road to Money in the Bank video. We're on the road to Xtreme Rules 2012. We're on the road to Payback. The road to Payback is here. With episode two of The Road to Money in the Bank. Episode number two of The Road to Extreme Rules. This is episode two of The Road to Payback. Welcome everyone to the second episode on The Road to Payback. The Road to Money in the Bank. Episode 3. Episode 3 of the Road to Extreme Rules. Episode 3 of the Road to Payback. Welcome everyone to the third episode on the Road to Payback. It's the Road to Payback! Thank you, HBK Fan 25 for tossing me the ball for one of the most important matches of WB Payback. And I'm here on Pinko's channel, wearing a Bruins jersey, and that might get me heat with some people, seeing as it's from Chicago. But I'm gonna do it anyway, because it's a cup. Hashtag because it's a cup. Shane's gonna win! But yeah, thank you guys, and back to Pico. Welcome everyone to the first episode on the road to Click 31. So if this is your first time watching this series, every time I go to a WWE pay-per-view event uh, leading up to it, I make a Road 2 series, basically updating you on matches, giving my thoughts. Uh, in the past couple of years, I've actually uh, had other people on here, my friends, YouTubers you may know, give their thoughts as well. So because the Road to WrestleMania is going to be used a lot in the next couple of weeks, I decided to call this series The Road to Click 31. So the first match was announced at Fastlane, Sting vs. Triple H. This is going to be a fun one. Uh, I know it's going to be Sting's first match in the WWE. He's been in TNA and WCW, but first time wrestling in a WWE ring against Triple H. That little segment that they did at Fastlane was awesome. Triple H, you know, came out and said, uh, basically, worst Sting kind of thing. Uh, he had a such hammer. Uh, he's ready to go, and all of a sudden Sting comes out, and Sting has his bat, which Sting's known for his bat and having his bat, and, uh, you know, that was awesome how they did that. Basically, Sting didn't talk at all, and I thought that was perfect. Uh, and then you have, you know, Triple H trying to, you know, beat down Sting, but then Sting, you know, he actually shows himself that he can, you know, get the upper hand on Triple H, and I think that was awesome. I think it's a perfect way to set up the match for WrestleMania. Uh, you know, Sting pointing the bat at WrestleMania sign, that's perfect. That could be in a plaque right there. You make that a poster if you want. Get it signed by him while you're at it. I don't know. I just thought that was awesome. I thought that it was a really cool, you know, feeling that you got when you watched that. And I just think that Sting vs. Triple H is going to be an awesome match at uh, WrestleMania. I, it's going to be weird to see to say WrestleMania in this series just because the fact that I'm going to WrestleMania is still not really hit me. Like to its potential yet, but I have a couple people who are going to talk about Sting versus Triple H at WrestleMania. Hey, what up, everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you on the road to WrestleMania, full on access shaded out. WrestleMania 31 is going to be awesome. It seems that if we are going to be doing Sting versus Triple H in what is the biggest match on the card that I am most pumped up for, we're going all the way back to the closing of WCW back in uh, 2001 before WrestleMania 17. After that, the big storyline was the Invasion storyline that basically came to an end at Survivor Series of 2001. Two of the big players that weren't a part of the Invasion storyline were Sting and Triple H. And in this showing, we are going to get those guys going at it. It seems that WWE is trying to play off WWE versus WCW one last time. They finally got the last piece of the puzzle, the last holdout in Sting. Sting's going to be going up against Triple H, and we're going to see who is the biggest daddy of them all. No doubt in my mind that these two guys are going to be gunning for each other, trying to make sure they have a great match. Sting never made a WWE appearance before Survivor Series of last year. Now here he is right there in the, in the mix. We've seen him go through WCW. We've seen him go through TNA. And here he is trying to go out and put that big exclamation point on the end of his career. Triple H, possibly one of the best in-ring performers that can lead Sting through a one more great match. From there, we go to the WWE Hall of Fame for Sting, and possibly finally getting that three-disc document, uh, documentary all about Sting, putting the, the finishing edges on his career, putting it to rest. Hello, everybody. If you do not know me, my name is Britton Harrison. You can follow me on Twitter at Britton95. 
Um, basically, Pico asked me to come on here and give my brief thoughts about the Triple H versus Sting stare down at Fastlane. I was live in attendance at Fastlane. If you'd like to get my more in-depth thoughts on the show, head over to my channel. I'm about to make a video on that. But basically, the the whole thing I believe was was awesome. It could have been better. Could have been a lot lot worse. But basically, you know, you saw Sting come down to the ring after Triple H came down. You know, looking like he was ready to fight. Right then and there, you kind of knew this was going to get physical. And it did, but not how I expected in the least. I honestly expected uh, Triple H to just demolish Sting because, you know, Sting's gotten upper hand mentally and physically over the past few weeks, ever since Summer, or not SummerSlam, Survivor Series, excuse me. And you would have thought, you know, they would have given Triple H to edge a little bit, but it was great for what it was worth. We saw the baseball bat. We saw them point to the WrestleMania sign. You got that really, really cool moment with Sting pointing the uh, bat right there underneath Triple H's neck or chin or whatever. Setting up the match for WrestleMania perfectly, and I honestly cannot wait. It's probably the match that that's right now that's announced that I'm most looking forward to. So we'll see how the rest of the buildup goes. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. So another match was announced at Fastlane, which this is basically the two main events. Uh, we have Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. The match that everyone knew was going to happen. We just, you know, we had a little speed bump in the road with Daniel Bryan where we thought Daniel Bryan was going to, you know, get in this match. It was going to be a triple threat match. It was going to be, you know, a fiddle four-way match. I even heard, I don't know. But I just kind of, you know, from the beginning, we knew this was going to happen. We knew how Roman was going to win the Rumble. And Vince wanted this. Vince wanted that. Well, it doesn't matter, Vince. Uh, it kind of does. You know, Vince leads the whole, you know, little company of WWE. But, uh, I mean, from the beginning, I thought this was a dumb idea to have Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. I just think that, you know, a lot of people didn't like it. A lot of people wanted Daniel Bryan to win. Honestly, at some point, I did want Daniel Bryan to win. Um, it could have been awesome. Brock Lesnar versus Daniel Bryan for the title. Kind of have a remake of last year. But uh, after just watching Raw and after... Uh, you know, after that match at Fastlane with Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns, um, I can really see that Roman Reigns um, is uh, improving week by week. Uh, he wants to basically show all the people who've been saying that he shouldn't be there. He wants to show them that he can be there. Uh, you know, he can be like anyone else, uh, you know, in the top, you know, sp spread of, you know, WWE superstars uh, at the top there. And I think that he really is going to uh, take this and kind of run with it, you know, like I said, he's had a couple speed bumps in the road, but um, I think this is going to be, you know, a pretty good match. The only thing that I'm kind of, you know, iffy about is the whole Superman punch thing, like, do I really think that Brock Lesnar is going to get knocked out with a, uh, you know, just a punch to the face? I don't, I don't think so, um, but uh, we'll have to see what Roman Reigns was going to do, uh, you know, at WrestleMania for Brock Lesnar, to defeat Brock Lesnar. We're going to have to see if Brock Lesnar is even going to lose. We don't even know that's going to happen. We don't even know if Seth Rollins would cash in or not. Oh, my God. Don't get me started on that. That's another another time. That's next week or something like that. But I think that's going to be awesome. Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns. If Roman does win, then I'll just be hoping for Seth Rollins to come out. But honestly, at this point, I'm all for Roman Reigns winning the title. I think it's going to be cool to, you know, see this moment at WrestleMania. Uh, if people are talking that, you know, Roman's going to be the next top guy, the next John Cena, if you will, I think that, you know, it would be cool to say that I was at the WrestleMania that Roman Reigns won the title for the first time, beat Brock Lesnar, who beat the streak. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome stuff, awesome stuff at WrestleMania. And here's someone who's going to talk about Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. What's going on guys, WWE Legend 619 here to give you my prediction on the WrestleMania main event for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. Now Roman Reigns is coming into this match with the Royal Rumble win. He's also beaten Daniel Bryan to make his way to WrestleMania. He had to put it on the line and he overcame the odds. And you have Brock Lesnar who came into WWE, basically took over, beat the hell out of everybody, and is the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Now, a lot of people are expecting this match to be pretty bad, and I'm one of those people, but maybe they can hush the crowd to make this match pretty good. I'm actually hoping for that because I really don't want to hate Roman Reigns, so if he can prove a lot of people wrong, I think that a lot more people will get back onto his bandwagon. Uh... You know what, this match could be really good or it could be really bad. 
and I'm hoping that they'll put on a good show. It is the WrestleMania main event. This is really going to show if Roman Reigns can handle this. He's supposed to be the next big thing in WWE. So if he can beat the one in 21 and one, hell, we might have ourselves a new face of the WWE as much as I want it to be Daniel Bryan. But again, I'm going to have to predict for this match. I'm going to say Roman Reigns is going to win and he's going to become the champion. You never know what's going to come next. Maybe a Rollins cash in at the end. Fingers crossed. But I predict Roman Reigns is the winner. So because I'm doing the whole WrestleMania weekend thing, I decided to update you guys on the matches and all the people who are going to be at Ring of Honor and give my thoughts on those and you know all the fun stuff that goes with it. So basically the first person that was announced to be there was Juicin Thunder Liger. I probably messed up his name a hundred thousand times. Uh, Liger is going to be there. It's going to be cool to see him. Uh, you know, we've been watching the New Japan shows. Me and Breach have been, you know, kind of catching up with all that stuff. And it's a fun time to watch those New Japan shows. So it's going to be cool to see what Liger brings to the table and, uh, you know, see him in person. And um, I might meet him depending on how long the line is. Another person which I'm really excited for is Samoa Joe. Holy cow, Mark and I like bananas. When I saw that Samoa Joe was basically done with TNA, I was like, here's my time to see him. Never went to a TNA show. Uh, honestly, one of the reasons would be to see Samoa Joe. We know that he puts on great matches, and I think that him and Ring of Honor is going to be awesome. So he'll be at that show as well, and it'll be a little like check mark off the bucket list of things to see is Samoa Joe in person. So that's going to be awesome. No matches have really been announced yet, but Samoa Joe and Liger can't go wrong. So Hall of Fame is a big thing during WrestleMania weekend. I'll be going to it this year. Uh, it's going to be a fun time. And uh, it's just going to be cool to, you know, hear all the stories that people have to say. And just, you know, I heard that there's a little, like, a, a different feel when you're at Hall of Fame. And I think that's going to be really cool to, you know, experience live. Um, now, there's been a lot of, like, talk about how it's not going to be that great of a class just because uh, there are people that have been rumored. But I think it's going to be, you know, a pretty big deal. And it'll be cool to go because it is my first WrestleMania. And it'll be cool to say that I was at a Hall of Fame. So the people who have already been announced so far, Macho Man Randy Savage, uh, you know, rest in peace. That would have been awesome if he could have been inducted when he was, uh, you know, still with us. But I still think it'll be cool to hear stories, you know, other people talking to him. Uh, I guess Hulk Hogan is going to be the one that inducts him. Uh, so we'll have his speech, you know, about him. And then uh, whoever else is, you know, be the one that accepts it or is there to talk about him. I just think it's going to be really cool. Uh, you know, a long time people have been trying to get Macho Man in the Hall of Fame. So we'll have to see what WWE does for Macho Man. Another one in the celebrity wing is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Holy cow. When I heard this, I thought that's going to be awesome to see him. Uh, hopefully he's there. I'm assuming he's going to be there, but uh, I don't know. Not much to say. I just think it'll be cool to see him there. In the last two, we have the Bushwhackers and Rikishi, uh, you know, just added to the class. Uh, I'm sure the Usos are going to be inducting uh, Rikishi into the uh, Hall of Fame, but I don't know. It would just be cool to hear all the stories and just hear what they have to say. So that's it for this week. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Every single week I'll be doing this, have new people on, and it's going to be a fun time. Road to WrestleMania is going to be awesome. Road to Click 31 is going to be awesome. It's the same thing. We're marking out like bananas. I'm moving my arms like this for no reason at all, but thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next week with the, you know, more matches and more this and more that, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later. Bam! We're only a couple weeks away. Can you feel the magic? I can feel the magic. There's no music this year. I'm too lazy to edit it all together. But last year I would, you know, start dancing to the Adam Rose theme. But you know, he kind of, he kind of, you know, fell and job to uh, Zack Ryder and a bunch of other people, Jack Swagger even. So no music, no Adam Rose music. But uh, I'll, uh, I'll uh, okay, here I'll, I'll put the shades on and I'll uh, get the access say, shades. Daniel Bryan must have had to the stage. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, why don't we see uh, Money in the Bank coming soon to a, uh, uh, a California near you? There you go.